Today in our 2003 Mercedes M-Class, specifically the ML350, we'll be installing the draw tight hitch part number 75087. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. The center of the hitch pin hole is even with the outside most edge of the bumper and the top of the receiver tube is 17 and a half inches from the ground. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a drawbar, a bike rack, or a cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with the installation. Note we've already gone ahead and removed the spare tire. This will make it easier to access the inside frame support brackets. Our first step is going to be removing the fascia doors. There's a total of three doors to remove. We've got the center one where our hitch will be installed, then one on either side to remove fasteners. Now with our fascia doors removed, we can go ahead and remove the four fasteners that are uncovered by removing these doors. Now with those removed, pull on the bumper fascia near the wheel wells and pop them free. Then we can go ahead and remove the bumper. Be careful, some applications, as this one, have an antenna built into the bumper. You may need to go ahead and loosen this to give yourself enough slack to set the bumper aside. Now with the bumper out of the way, you can see it exposes the four weld nuts in the bumper frame. Before we install our hardware, we're going to go ahead and clean these weld nuts out using a half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092, and some spray lubricant. We'll go ahead and clean up the threads. Quick tech tip I recommend to take one of the new fasteners and go ahead and thread it in to make sure to go nice and smoothly. Now, with that done, we're ready to go ahead and install the hitch. We'll be using a new 14 millimeter fastener and lock washer along with a hardened steel washer. The steel washer will get sandwich between the hitch and the frame. Let's go ahead and install it now. We've got a total of four fasteners. With that done, we can go ahead and tighten them down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install the frame support brackets. There's one on the driver and one on the passenger side and a total of four fasteners for each. There are two 3 8 fasteners. They'll be using two 3 8 conical tooth washers, three flat washers, and one nut. The 3 8 bolt and conical tooth washer will feed from the outside of the bumper to the inside. Then we'll slide on three flat washers to compensate for the difference in the frame. And then we can put our bracket in position. With the two 3 8 bolts and washers in place, we can now go ahead and install the support bracket. Be careful not to push your hardware back into the frame as you install the bracket. Now we'll go ahead and slide on a conical tooth washer with the teeth of the washer facing the hitch and our nut to secure them. Now with both of those fasteners installed, we can move to our half inch fasteners. These will be secured with conical tooth washers with the teeth of the washer facing the hitch and handle nuts. The handle nut, as you can see, can be bent into position to make it easiest to thread a bolt. Our half inch bolt will go through the bracket and into the inside of the frame channel. We'll use our handle nut to go into the frame channel from the outside to the in to secure the bolt. Now with both those done here on the driver's side, we can tighten them down.
Now with all four fasteners tightened down, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now with all of our hardware installed and tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in the instructions. Now we're ready to go ahead and test fit the rear bumper fascia. It may be necessary to trim it out, so we'll go ahead and test fit it first. After sliding into position, we can see here just above the hitch tube that we'll need to trim a little bit of the inner bumper fascia. We'll go ahead and mark it with a paint marker and then use a rotary zip tool to cut it out. Now we're ready to go ahead and reinstall the bumper fascia. With our bumper fascia in place, we'll go ahead and reinstall the four fasteners to secure it and reinstall the two outside fascia doors. The center fascia door, where the hitch is now positioned, will not get reinstalled. And that'll do it for the installation of our draw tight hitch, part number 75087 on our 2003 Mercedes M-Class.